Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today you're going to learn how to take your Windows, uh, pardon me, Windows 7 PC and make it into a router. First, we need to open up the command prompt as an administrator. I made a shortcut to my desktop, and now I will be right clicking it, run as administrator, and then if you have UAC, it's going to uh, ask you to enable it or rather allow it. We will click yes, and now we have the box open here, okay? So now, in order to go ahead and set this up, we need to run the command net shwlan, which means wireless local access network, set hosted network, is exactly how Windows recognizes it, mode equals allow, since we're going to allow the connection, SSID, this is what we want uh, connected here uh, uh, to be displayed for you to connect. So we'll call it techme, and then we need to put a key and I'll put tech me show. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and press OK, or enter rather. Okay, now it's hosted, it, the SSID has been set, perfect. Now, we need to do something here. We need to load up the network and sharing center here. Go to change adapter settings, right? We need to go make sure that our second connection, which is Microsoft Virtual Wi-Fi mini port, is enabled. Go ahead and enable it if it's disabled. Now it should look like this, where it has all the green bars and an X since it's not connected. We'll go ahead and go to our main connection, which you must have disconnected. I, I'm sure you could maybe get around it, but I'm telling you, disconnect from the internet. So go ahead now and click properties on your main device. Go to sharing, allow other network users. Choose the connection, in this case it's Wireless Network Connection 2. Go ahead and press OK. Great. So now we've shared the connection here, right? So now let's go back to our command prompt. We'll go ahead and do net sh wan start and then hosted network and then press enter. Now the hosted network is started. This is terrific. How do we know? In a second here, on our second connection, it should say our uh, tech me, for instance. And now that that is connected, we can go ahead and connect to our regular network, which I've created one for this uh, show here. So now it says think and shared. So now this connection is giving our new virtual router tech me, that's the SSID, which is what you see in the wireless connections. Uh, it's now, when you connect to it, you will be getting internet from our main connection, which is the regular wireless network connection. Now, you might ask yourself, how do I uh, basically see the hosted network that we created? Maybe you forgot, maybe you went off and did something, who knows? All you have to do, in this case, I'm gonna use the up arrow key, and instead of start, we're gonna go ahead and type show, and then host it. Enter. Now here we are. It says SSID, tech me, uh, which is correct. It's using WPA2, which is perfect. It started. It's using 802.11g, perfect. Channel 11, which is great, usually the, the default. Um, and now you might also ask what other networks are around. We'll do the up arrow again so that it, it says show, and then we'll do networks. And here we are. Here's our local networks that are around us, and ours is the main one, top one. So that's good. Uh, that means you've already had a, a internet connection on your computer, uh, which in this case doesn't necessarily mean you are connected to it, just that you do see uh, connections. Now if you want to see the settings, you could go to show, settings, and there you are. And you have all the other settings. You see the hosted network is allowed and authentication yes um, and it is using the wireless network connection and now if we wanted we could go ahead and click and connect to our tech me and if we go ahead and uh, type uh, um, hosted it should in a second once i'm connected and there we are number of clients one and that's it for today thank you for watching the tech me show i hope this was helpful